Bismillahirrahmanirrahim class 9 children now next physics chapter number 3 lecture number 15 girls in this topic we have to derive the formula for acceleration a and tension t basically we have an art an atwood machine in which there is a pulley and a string passing over this pulley and this pulley is frictionless one end is attached with body a second one end is attached with body b now you can see body a having mass m1 body b having different mass which is smaller than m1 which is m2 so we see that this string is inextensible means there is no stretching force existing in this this is not elastic inextensible no stretching force here right this string is not like rubber band this is purely string which is inextensible weight of body a is acting vertically downward in the form of w1 weight of body b is w2 acting vertically downward and we know that weight is equals to mass mg means mg so here mass is m1 so m1g here is mass m2 so m2g and tension as i have explained yesterday tension is basically when something is hanging by the help of a string and weight is acting vertically downward tension always acts opposite to weight a stretching force opposite to weight so weight acting downward so tension acting upward weight acting vertically downward tension existing upward theek hai so since both masses are different so as you release so it means you will see that body a will move downward with some particular acceleration this is basically acceleration a and body b will move with the same acceleration vertically upward is it and throughout this string tension will be same so t only t not t1 and t2 weights are different because masses are different one mass is m1 second one mass is m2 so it means now weight will be m1g weight will be m2g i think situation and this edward machine situation and apparatus is clear now girls we are discussing about body a and then we will discuss about body b body a being a heavier mass moving downwards with some acceleration since mass is greater so this body a will move vertically downward so now when it moves downward so just only imagine that motion when it moves downward so there are two forces acting on body a number 1 weight w1 acting downward and tension t which is acting vertically upward so there are two forces existing on this body a we have discussed now since body a is moving vertically downward so it means we can say w1 force is greater than this opposite force tension t if tension is greater then this body must go towards upward side but since body is moving downward so it means now w1 is greater than t right since w1 is greater than t but when you discuss about body b in this body weight w2 is acting downward tension t acting upward since now this tension is basically body is moving vertically upward right so it means tension t is greater than this w2 right so since w1 is greater than t so it means now this force is greater than that force so find out the subtract small force from the greater one force so this will give you the net force so whenever you have to find the net force you always subtract smaller force than from the greater force so we have written here net force is also force f w1 minus t as it is according to newton's second law f is equals to ma so we should write here m1a because we are discussing about mass m1 and w1 means m1g now if i shift this minus t from right to left hand side it will become plus t m1g as it is here shifting of this m1 a from right to left it will be from left to right it will become minus m1 a this is your equation number 1 now guys we will discuss about body b since body b is moving vertically upward so again you will consider that w2 is smaller than t t force is greater 
now seem like this body a there are two forces acting on this body b one is tension t acting upward weight w2 acting downward we have mentioned here okay in the next video girls we will continue this topic please wait for that